Can a ketogenic diet be a high satiety diet? I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com. And the answer is yes. You've probably heard a lot of our uh, message lately about higher satiety eating. And a lot of questions come up, well, I'm eating a keto diet and I don't feel hungry at all. So how can you tell me that a keto diet isn't a high satiety diet? And we're not saying that. I wanted to clarify this and talk about how a keto diet actually is a high satiety diet. Studies show that those people randomized to a ketogenic diet versus a low fat diet automatically reduce their caloric intake, automatically reduce their hunger. And we see it time and time again clinically that people just start eating twice a day rather than six times a day without even thinking about it because they're less hungry. So it's clear clinical experience and the scientific literature support that a ketogenic diet is a higher satiety diet. You're going to feel less hungry and eat less overall. So why is that the case? Well, Ketogenic diets actually tend to be higher in protein. I know we, we hear so much that for ketosis, you need to you know be have moderate protein and not high protein. But if the average American is eating 12 to 14% of their calories from protein, that's usually kind of protein deficient in terms of satiety and optimal uh, metabolic health and uh, body composition. Now, it's not protein deficient in terms of you know, a clinical protein deficiency, getting Quashicor, which is what we learn about in, in medical school. But in terms of optimal health and optimal metabolic health and satiety and hunger, it actually is protein deficient. But most ketogenic diets are around like the 20% or the 1.5 grams per kilo. And that's an adequate protein diet that is going to help with satiety, especially if you're coming from a lower protein diet, like the average American or average European even. So that's one part. The second part is you're, you're eliminating all those ultra processed hedonic foods, basically the combined carbs and fats, the added sugars, the, the foods that stimulate you to want to make you eat more and more. And that's a big part of our satiety calculator that we have at dietdoctor.com and eliminating those foods is a huge part of eating a higher satiety diet and ketogenic diets do that for the most part. Now you can fall into the trap of adding processed packaged keto foods and keto products, which could start to tip the scale to make a keto diet not such high satiety. But if focusing on a whole food keto diet, absolutely a higher satiety diet. Now fat actually can help with satiety. We talk so much about protein and low energy density and fiber, but fat itself by adding calories can also help with satiety. Now you can overdo it because there are more calories per gram of food and fat than there are in protein and carbs, but still just any calories can help. And where you're getting that saturated fat absolutely makes a difference. Getting saturated fat from eggs and meat and chicken and fish, as opposed to ice cream and baked goods and, you know, the ultra processed foods, making that shift is going to help also with satiety. But here's the other thing. What about ketones? There's some evidence that ketones themselves may play a role in satiety. And so this sort of goes outside of, you know, the, the foods themselves, the macronutrients themselves, and actually the ketones themselves. So interestingly, when people fast and get past like that second day of fasting, frequently hunger goes down. Why is that? Well, ketones may play a role, right? The, the evidence, the mechani mechanistic evidence isn't super strong to say it's definitely the ketones, but it's certainly suggested that ketones play a role. So higher protein, lower hedonic features, ketones themselves, and the right types of fat can really help with satiety. So when you hear us talk about higher satiety, understand that keto diets can be higher satiety diets and improve your hunger. But like I mentioned, there is that trap we can fall into that if we're just thinking of fat as a completely free food that just you can't eat too much of, and we eat the packaged foods, um, the pro ultra processed keto foods that add up and add up, you can really add calories without reducing hunger in that setting. So if you find that you're not hitting your, your weight loss goals, your metabolic health goals, your body composition goals, um, then it might be worth reevaluating your ketogenic diet and see if those products have fit in and try and shift more towards a whole foods ketogenic diet because that likely is the best version for hunger and satiety when it comes to a keto diet. So is a keto diet a high satiety diet? Absolutely it is, but there's not just one keto diet. There are lots of types of keto diets. So try to focus on a whole foods ketogenic diet and you're well on your way to 
improving your healthy weight loss, your metabolic health, your body composition, whatever your goals may be, it can contribute to all of those goals. All right, hope this was helpful. Please click the thumbs up and subscribe button and check us out at dietdoctor.com where we have so many recipes and meal plans and educational guides to help you on your health journey. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on Diet Doctor News on YouTube.